Hi, this is Brian with Workshop Addict. Today I'm excited to show you how to upgrade your M12 jacket to an M18 jacket. One of the things that I've loved about these jackets is that they're nice and warm. You can wear them with the heat on, heat off. In fact, this black one has been my go-to jacket for the last year and a half. I uh, now have the three-in-one and the technology increases better. But one of the things that's always kind of bugged me is that, hey, I want to go out hunting or sit all day and I might be sitting for a long time, longer than six hours, and I don't want to risk my battery going dead. Or I want to be able to plug in my phone while the jacket's on so that I know I have both backed up. So here's the solution. It's a small little, comes in a box like this, it's called an M18 power source. It is model number 49-24-2371. And it's very simple, it is this little piece. That's it. Um, I guess we can go over it. It still has the same USB plug-in, a single one, just like the M12. The difference is it does have an on and off switch, which this is nice in a way and also not so nice because you can bump it. It's not like it clicks hard to change it. It's very simple to change. You might bump it and it would turn itself off. So to, to start, your normal jacket, you can unzip get inside and this is your M12 receiver has the same um, USB port it does, the M12s have a fuel gauge on it all the M18 batteries have the fuel gauge on the battery so we simply unplug it and come over here plug it in it's one of the easiest upgrades you could do huh now we can take a compact battery if we wanted to throw it on we can check our fuel gauge fully charged drop it in the pouch without even unzipping anything and there we go back in business not too much more weight but there is more weight uh, this should get you run times on low up to 18 hours so if we then decide we want more power we want to run up to the 4 amp hour or 5 amp hour M18 batteries they don't fit as well but what Milwaukee has designed in here is another zipper that if you take this zipper and continue around all the way up to the top where that one unzips, you can now slide this guy in. And there is a considerable weight difference here. So this isn't gonna be, hey, I'm gonna just jog around and run with this battery all day. But you have no problem zipping it in place. And now you have a four amp hour battery to run your phone, your tablets, or your jacket for a long term time. It's the same way with the three-in-one. We'll pull this guy out. The three-in-one jacket, same system, same cord, same zipper. In fact, this one's already unzipped, um, but the, the zipper pulls up. We just simply plug this guy in. You can drop it in place in uh, a few different directions, but it seems like putting the rubber towards the jacket works out the best and we can zip it closed so there is a a significant difference but this this little pouch on the bottom that opens also allows you to run your xc's they actually make a four amp hour uh, 12 volt battery so if you wanted to plug that in and drop it down to the bottom you still could plug this guy in and now your battery is sitting mine's caught up in the cord but now your battery is sitting a little bit lower and you can zip it in place and access it a little bit easier these do sit on the side so they will sit out a little farther and you do get used to them in the beginning I was bumping into things uh, that I was walking by corners or chairs or stuff but you'll get used to it after a while. Uh, we do have another video complete on both the full jackets. So if you wanna see the video that demonstrates everything on the three-in-one, check out our three-in-one video. If you wanna see the, the older Milwaukee jacket only video, we have a video for that too. So we're not putting these on or we're not reviewing this uh, specific jackets. We're just showing you how you can upgrade them to the M18 power. So if you're, interested in talking more about this stop by our forum at workshopaddict.com you can leave us comments in the bottom we will try to answer every question that's down there 
Um, just uh, give us a little bit of time to get back with you. If you like this movie, click like for us. We'd appreciate it. We'd also like it if you subscribe to our channel. Again, this is Brian from Workshop Addict. Thanks for your time.